In Casamon, some fishermen put away their nets before they go out on the water. In the small district of Mongagulak, some of them were trained to watch over the river. This is the Kawawana project meant to help protect the resources for the local fishing communities. This initiative is not coming from the state. It's coming from our communities of fishermen who notice that resources are depleting. There is overfishing, and most of the time it's not even residents who do it, but fishermen coming from Mali or from the north of the country. We realize that if we did nothing, soon we'd only be left with water and no other resources. The patrols report any offense on regulations that were decided and approved by the people, from which nets to use to which areas to fish in. Patrols also watch over sites considered sacred in the local culture. This is where the sacred area starts. All around it, the river is completely off limits. Access is strictly prohibited. For that reason, there's much more fish here. So you can imagine the temptation for fishermen. This one couldn't resist. He was caught red-handed fishing in the sacred part of the river. An official from the rural council is attending the hearing meant to determine how we will pay the fine. Even if it's just to have the rules enforced, the community needs to lean on the state for this project. In other parts of the country or in neighboring Guinea, other villages are now pushing for that decentralized system where the locals keep the hand on the crucial issues of fishing regulations or conservation. The men of the river from Mongagulak might have opened the way. Leila Jovi, BBC News, Mongagulak, Senegal.